have someone in the orchestra, two seniors, they're both very fine players, one you're gonna hear, you hear her here all the time. Um, and then this one is Bennett, and he's, you know, very interesting young man, because um, uh, he keeps coming up to me with these little pieces of paper that uh, are saying that he's going to be gone. And for long, I'm going to be gone this way. It's been going on, I mean, since freshman year? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. There you are. Right? And um, because he always has to go off to gymnastics things. And to the end that he is now on the Junior Olympic National Team in Gymnastics. <laughs> So he is going to come out, and his mother is going to uh, accompany him on Saint Saint's The Swan.
So like I said, when we um, started you know, putting the music together for this concert, I had no idea it's going to be all of this movie music. I mean, we've played music from Up, we've played music from uh, Star Wars, we're going to be doing this, and then the next is um, actually not originally movie music, but it became a movie that won the Oscar for Best Picture. Uh, that's the American Paris. Um, this one, uh, the year 1939, I don't know if you, any of you are like big time movie buffs like I kind of am. Um, you had your Gone with the Wind, you had your Grapes of Wrath, um, Mr. Uh, Smith Goes to Washington. I mean, just an amazing, if you just look it up on, um, on Wikipedia, you'll just see that, wow, this is the big time, the, the big time year for movies. And one of the most loved movies from that time is what you're going to hear right now.
I'm going to move as quickly and meaningfully as, as I can through this. Um, we have quite a few people to thank for our year and um, uh, some people to honor. And we're going to start off with some adults. You, hi, hey, how are, how are you doing, everybody? Um, our, our booster group is very active, and we like to pride ourselves on being the most fun booster group that you can you can join. Uh, we have a lot a lot of things for you to do. Yeah, there you go. Um, a lot of things that you can do, and um, sometimes we don't even have to see you. You don't have to you know you don't have to be around at meetings all the time to make it happen. But we have some people that are on the board that I want to recognize, and I guess the way we'll do it is you'll just come right up here, and then um, I can hand you your unless you want to come all the way. Uh, I think I'll just. Then that'll be quick that you get back to your seat. Um, so we have uh, a somewhat new uh, section of the board, and this is the jazz representative, and our rep for this year is Claudia Mellon. Fisher. Our 
our secretary for most of the year, um, and who has also had many other jobs in the boosters over the years, and um, and she worked as volunteer coordinator for a number of years. But yes, here she's secretary again, and this is Colleen Nielsen. She's actually the orchestra rep, but she's been taking all the minutes in our meeting, so <laughs> also the second. Uh, we have two volunteer coordinators. I'm going to mention one now and one a little bit later. Um, one of our newer volunteer coordinators this year, and this is the person that calls you know calls you and makes sure that you're able to help with whatever you're going to help with is Francis. Treasurer and Rafael, are you here? And that'll say it was a trick. Uh, but Rafael Gomez, who's been our treasurer for a long time. This is not a board member, but um, I'm telling you, one of the real invaluable additions to what, what we do. And um, I usually I come to these concerts and I, I get things set up and I set up my video camera and you know we do all this and then sometimes we show up to class and sometimes we don't. Uh, we have a really great parent now that is taping the concerts. He's taping tonight and within I'd say by midnight this thing's going to be on. Well, maybe not, but um, but on YouTube he gets these things on YouTube real quickly and he's just done a great job this year. Generally no. Christine Chang. Who's been to a flea market? 
Okay, good. Start going to flea markets. We need we need people to go and, and buy things at the flea markets. It doesn't it doesn't you know get us any more money, but it makes the vendors think, wow, I really want to do do this thing, and um, and that's where we get our money is from from the vendors who you know rent space out in the parking lot. Um, uh, and I don't know. I wouldn't say you know uh, untiring. Help her with the, with the flea market, but she just you know she gets all the kids organized and uh, it has just been fabulous this year. And Larnie von Rudin. was a freshman, she went on our trip, our uh, Disneyland trip, and tells me she was hooked. She wanted, she wanted, she wanted to you know, be with us and do, do all this stuff with us, and she's been just really great, and she's gonna stay on um, as president. Mary
I, uh, I talked a little bit about Allstate Orchestra uh, or, or band and how that works. The students, they have to go through this. It's a pretty grueling thing. They have these excerpts. Listen up, people. Um, they have these uh, uh, excerpts that they have to prepare of pretty hard pieces, and they have to make a recording of it, and that's very painstaking and you know uh, sometimes gut wrenching. Gut wrenching to do, um, and you make these recordings, you send them in, hope for the best. Well, a lot of these kids have been um, doing well and getting into these things, uh, not just you know senior year, but, but other years, and achieving at a pretty high, high spot. Um, and uh, we have a few this year that, that kind of made it to the made it to the mountaintop in terms of uh, the top spot in the state. And um, the first one we'll talk about uh, using the. Um, I'm not sure how it wor worked out. I think um, he was in all state one other year. Uh, he's been in county honor band I think all four years, and um, he made it to the first first chair spot on bassoon uh, in the all state orchestra for this year. Gregor Daragi. Also, um, I believe was in the All-State Orchestra last year, and uh, this year was uh, in the All-State. The, the way it goes is uh, you try for All-State, band or orchestra, and in orchestra, you get into the orchestra. But for band, there are three different bands that you can get into. There's the concert band, the symphonic concert band is, you know, I don't know, the, the, the low one, I guess you could call it. I mean, they're all amazing musicians that go into all three of these bands. Um, but there's the concert band, the symphonic band, the middle, and then the top one is the Wind Symphony. And so, um, Linus Wang is here, because I'm Wind Symphony. climbed to the top uh, and made it all the way to the top and it's been since I believe 2003 that we had a saxophonist uh, make this top spot in the um, All-State Wind Symphony. Actually it was the first year that they had a Wind Symphony. That was Joe Hayes. Some of you might know him. Um, yeah, hey, there you go. Some of you know Joe Hayes. Uh, and, um, but th this year, Alan, uh, who you just heard tonight, he was in the first year spot, I'm pretty sure, the first year spot in the All-State Wind Symphony. Some of the the different different awards that are that happen every year, um, and this this first one is one that uh, Dave Adams, who's the band director here, uh, up until about 1998, and he actually uh, I've known him a long time, and actually my wife's been even longer because he was her uh, fifth grade band teacher. So, uh, but he was he was the director here at Pali from I'd say 84 up to so a long time. And um, there was a person in the, in the band when he was there named David Hahn, um, who uh, was extremely spirited. He also is someone that uh, people may have seen at Stanford football games. Uh, he came, you know, um, he came to a lot of our pally football games, was running around and just was a extreme. Does anybody remember David? Is anyone out there? No, nobody. Wow. Okay. So, uh, well, uh, David Brady remembers. Um, uh, you can come into the band room and you can see the perpetual trophy, and uh, you can see you can see what David looked like. But he was he was just fun. He would come up and just you know, 
man, this is great. I just love you guys. You're so good. And that's, you know, so David, you know, when um, David Hahn passed away, uh, David Adams, you know, thought, wow, it'd be really great to have an award uh, memorializing him and also his family, I think. Um, and, but this should be for someone who exemplifies spirit, you know, it's a band award, you know, it's just for band, uh, really exemplifies great spirit in the band. And this person here, when I think of him, um, uh, immediately the first thing I think of is a smile. You know, I mean, I may be yelling at him for something, but, you know, generally, you know, he, he'll come back with a smile. And I go, wow, that, that's, that's really great. He loves band, um, and... Uh, I, you know, I'm just gonna. That's that's the main thing I'm gonna remember. He plays great, you know, and all, and all of that. We already we know that, but uh, that smile and the laugh and just the sense of fun. And this year's David Hunter Award winner is Leo. and gymnast. And that's Ben. Ben. There are, uh, there are two main band awards, and um, one is a person who I already talked to you a little bit about him, um, but he's basically, uh, like I said, been in the Allstate thing, been in the County Honor Band thing, which isn't you know, necessarily a, a mark of, the only mark of achievement in band. You cannot do those things and still be a, you know, just a major contributor to what we do because you know, all shapes and sizes for, for our groups and uh, the people that do other things also bring a lot to, you know, to our music. But um, uh, this person here, uh, again, Played a different instrument in pep band because the instrument he plays just doesn't translate well to pep band. But the director's award for band uh, this year goes to Gregor Gyrock. The next is the John Philip Sousa Band Award, and um, there's a whole write-up about it, but basically, uh, someone who um, exemplifies the, um, the type of proper attitude for band, and also achieves at a high level in band. This person here, I you know, you know, will be a little personal, but um, basically, in their, this person's freshman year, got into the All-State Wind Symphony, Sophomore year, first chair in the Allstate Orchestra. Junior year, first chair in the Allstate Orchestra. Um, and then senior year had to do a lot of college auditions and things, so didn't do any Allstate anything. But this year's John Phillips is a band work, goes to Celia Wilner. There's an award for jazz, and we have someone who uh, has been in the jazz band, I think, all four years, definitely the last three years, and has played great solos, and just uh, makes the sound of the saxophone section, not just here, but also in jazz band. Um, just a great classical sound that also translates well to, to the jazz band. It just makes the group sound fantastic. This year's uh, Louis Armstrong Award for Jazz goes to Alan Wayne. We started 
started doing this outstanding musician award last year, and um, uh, again, it's a kind of a personal thing. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you <laughs> this this uh, person's journey because uh, um, the first six year All State member we've ever had. I mean, here at Valley, at least at least that I can recall. I know uh, maybe Gun has had a couple, but uh, it's the first one that we've ever had. And um, he went from, you know, that means 7th grade, 8th grade, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. And he went from um, almost the bottom of the bottom band, 7th grade, then got into the top band, 8th grade, then back to the near the bottom of the bottom band in freshman year, and then into the middle band, and then first chair in the Wind Symphony junior year, and then into the orchestra. So kind of like the whole, <laughs> the whole, the whole uh, you know, continuum of the different things. And so this year's outstanding musician and six year band member is David Willen. But um, basically, when she came to the orchestra her freshman year, I believe there were 17 people in the class. The, the class was actually in minor danger of not being a class if that trend had continued. And, um, and she stuck with it, and a few more people stuck with it. And you see what you see right here, about 34. Sign up for orchestra next year is 51. So. And this young lady has had a major part in helping to make that happen um, through her professionalism. And you see her at every concert, and you see her just, you know, their, um, uh, just her stature, and also her um, commitment to uh, being in the group, being a great leader in the group, um, playing beautiful violin solos, and going on trips. So, this year's Director's Award for Orchestra is Candace Wayne.
So like I said, I mean, this is a this is kind of a sweep of the American Paris. This is a piece written by George Gershwin, and um, then it became, uh, you know, the idea for this movie with Gene Kelly. Has anyone seen it? Okay. Um, with all Gershwin songs in it, and then a whole big dance sequence set set to this. Um, one of my favorite pieces of all time. You're gonna hear a lot of solos from a lot of people that you just saw up on stage. Um, real fun. Thank you all for coming out tonight. It's been a real fun night. Thank you.